This does. <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday. We're having a nice relaxing movie day at home um, after going to Harry Potter and running around a lot the last couple of days. I have a lot of stuff I need to do today. The house is kind of just trash from how busy we've been and I've got lots of laundry to do, but I really wanted to do a movie day and we watched Deep Impact, which I know is like 20 years old, but I wanted another disaster movie. And this one was much better than Geostorm in my opinion. It doesn't need a plot. You just have some meteors come into the earth and they go out of their way to try to like break them from like, or comets rather, to stop it from hitting the earth. They bust it into two pieces. One of them hits the earth. The other one gets shattered by the sacrifice of all the astronauts who tried breaking it up in the first place. Um, I still liked it. I liked it a lot because as far as disaster movies goes, like I said before, I don't need a plot. I don't need a plot. I just want to see, I know how bad this sounds, but I just want to see like some cleansing of the people on the earth and <laughs> a lot of shit get destroyed. Like that's what I want to see. And I got that with this one. Of course you had the one stupid person who's like, no, I don't want to go. I want to die with you. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Somebody needs to slap her. I like what I, one of the things that I appreciated about this one was that when they knew that the world was potentially going to end, they're like, no, we're having martial law, you're not going to start rioting, you're not going to start looting, you're not going to start being crazy, you're going to, like, not going to price gouge, like, just life as normal. And I appreciate that because... For if, if this were a real world situation, I would like to be able to spend my last year of life in a somewhat normal society it's like bad enough knowing that it's gonna end i wouldn't want to have to slog through crime and not be able to walk down the street or even enjoy my last few months on earth because everybody's just turned into insane maniacs so i appreciate that little part of it even if other people might be like oh people wouldn't be calm people wouldn't go about life as normal a lot of them probably wouldn't but i i appreciated that it a big part of the movie wasn't focused on rioting and looting and crime and murder and all the other stupid stuff that would probably happen excessively um so i was happy about that uh what i had another thought about the movie but Whatever. So that's my little mini review of Deep Impact. I like that. If anybody has any suggestions for good disaster movies, you know, I mean, or like, um, you know, like creature movies or just, you know, that or end of the world movies or whatever, uh, go ahead and put a comment. I would love to see what your suggestions are. It doesn't have to be recent. It doesn't have to be, it can be a B movie. Like, I don't care. Just give me some suggestions on stuff that I need to see and I'll check it out. It can be natural disasters, rampaging crocodiles. It doesn't matter. Speaking of rampaging crocodiles, rampage is going to be an awesome one when that one comes out. But yeah, so go ahead and send me your suggestions. I like a lot of like intellectual movies and thinkers and stuff. But when it comes to like mindless entertainment, for me, it's apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic disaster movies. I like those. I'm a sucker for them. Um, now we're gonna watch The Boy, a horror movie, so we'll talk about that in a little bit, but that is what today's Sunday is gonna be. Just watching movies and trying to maybe get a little housework done. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So continuing our day of TV watching, we watched The Boy, um, the horror movie about a couple that is like raising their doll like a child and they get a nanny for him was not supernatural like I thought it was gonna be. So, spoiler alert, um, wasn't really scary either. Uh, I guess I was kind of thinking it was gonna be kind of weird and supernatural and scary. It was definitely creepy because there was a creepy person in it, but I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of horror movies, so I can't really be a good judge, but uh, if you've seen it, thoughts? I wasn't really, like, I don't even know what to make of it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> wasn't really scary, nothing supernatural, weird guy living in the walls. It wasn't bad. It, it was, wasn't yeah, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. And then we watched a bunch of TV shows like Modern Family and Superstore, which I love Superstore. Modern Family, Superstore is the greatest. But, uh, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much our entire lazy day. Um... So we're finally in the B's for countries to say goodbye in. So anyway, the country that we're starting. Okay, so I'm starting the B's and the first list country in the list is the Bahamas. 
Um, the primary language there is English. I know they have their own dialect and everything. And I tried to find like a special way of saying goodbye in you know in the Bahamas because they have a like a mixture of dialects from like British English and um, you know stuff that they learned from like the African slaves and the Puritans a long time ago. Which is all cool stuff that I learned, you know, because I always learn a little bit about the history of the countries when I look up their languages. But um, I didn't really find any special way of saying goodbye in the Bahamas. I was kind of hoping they would have some phrase or something that they used to say goodbye, but I couldn't find anything. If you happen to be from the Bahamas or spent a lot of time there and you know of a different way they say goodbye, go ahead and uh, put it in the comments for me. Um, otherwise, I'm going to say goodbye and thanks for checking in.